Howdy everyone and welcome back to another awesome day here on The More You Grow. Today we're going to be doing something fun. I'm going to show you how you can grow your very own fruit trees for next to nothing, if not free, by taking them from cuttings. Now, not all fruit trees will root and grow from cuttings, but there are a few that will easily grow and produce fruit very quickly from cuttings. So today I'm going to show you what fruit trees will work, how to take your cuttings for the best results. I'm going to show you how to get those rooted and how to care for them after that. So let's go check out our trees and let's go see what's going on. All right guys, we're out here. Got a few of the fruit trees we're going to work with behind me. We're going to talk about some of the fruit trees that grow really well from cuttings and the ones that don't grow well from cuttings. And sorry if it gets a little bit noisy here in a minute. I've got construction over here to my right. We're just going to try to work through that. So bear with me there and sorry if it gets a little windy now and then. So some of the fruit trees that will grow easily from cuttings include pomegranates and figs and elderberries. And that's actually what I have behind me here. I've got a pomegranate tree over here. I've got a fig tree over here. And that's probably the biggest reasons why pomegranates and figs were one of the earliest domesticated crops because they were easily grown and propagated from cuttings. Unlike things like peaches and pears and other fruit trees like that that have to be grafted. Grafting didn't come along in agriculture until much later because it was just kind of a process that had to be discovered. And it was probably discovered around the first century BC. But they were growing figs and pomegranates, things like that way before then. Because all we have to do is take cuttings off of these and we can root them out. So that's one of the biggest reasons why these are easily propagated, they're easy to root. So let's get into how to take your cuttings, some things you need to do for the best results of your cuttings, and then we're going to go take them into the greenhouse and get them started. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're going to start with our fig tree over here. The reason why I'm starting with the fig is it's probably one of the easiest fruit trees to grow from cuttings. They're super simple to root, easy to take care of, and if you haven't ever taken a fruit tree from cuttings, I highly recommend starting with the fig. We have a Celeste fig back here, and I love Celeste. They're kind of an older variety. They're little small figs, super sweet, but they're very easy to take care of, very hardy, and love them to death. It's getting a little bit late in the season to be taking cuttings for rooting, and the reason why that is, is when you take a cutting for a fruit tree to root it out, you wanna make sure the buds are still dormant. And I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a minute. So right now, we're going to look for a a, a bud here that is still dormant as much as possible and I'll show you how to get the cutting and what you want to look for. Woo, landed right in my lap. So we have one here it's got a little bit of active leaf growth but not too much yet and you want to get a cutting that has enough stem that you have enough to work with and put it down in your pot which we're going to talk about here in just a little bit as well. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this branch we're going to cut the tip at a 45 degree angle the reason why we want to do that is this is going to give us the most surface area to take up water to take up the rooting hormone we're going to use and it's just going to allow for a better success in your cutting so i'm going to take a few more of these and we're going to go on to the next fruit tree so now we have our fig cuttings now we're going to come over here and we're going to work with our pomegranate there's a few similarities a few differences when it comes to figs and pomegranates but like with the figs, we wanna make sure, I don't know if you can see it right now, we wanna to try to get these when the buds are dormant. And this is a little bit late to be doing this, but we're gonna try it anyways. The reason why you want dormant buds on your cuttings is we want those cuttings to focus on getting roots on them and getting established and not using their energy to try to grow leaves. That's just gonna take away from our cutting. It's going to take water away, nutrients, and it just makes it a little bit harder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in here for some of these canes. You can kind of see it grows a little different than the fig grows with canes. We're gonna look for some canes that don't have, that have very little active growth on it if we can. Try to find ones that still have some good dormant buds. And I see a few in here that's gonna work. But normally you would like to do this around late winter, early spring, before it gets warm and the buds start to open and break, things like that. So I'm gonna come in here look for a few canes and the way we're going to do this is you want to cut at the base of a cane whether that's on a branch or at the base of the plant you want to cut at the bottom and you want to give yourself enough room we want to look for ones that are around pencil diameter size so let's look in here and see what we got uh this looks like a good one 
Okay guys, so I have a good pomegranate cane here. Most of the buds are still dormant on this, which is what we want. We have a few here at the end that are leafing out, which we're just gonna cut these off anyways. And I got it where it's about pencil diameter or about as big around as your little finger. And this is gonna be a good one because we can get quite a few cuttings out of just this one cane. When you take a pomegranate cutting, you want it to be about, oh, about as long as maybe your forearm, something like that. Just, I don't really know how long that is, but I just kind of eyeball it. And when you take a cutting, you want to look for these buds on the side. Hopefully you can see those, those little dots here. And you want to cut right above a set of buds because that next cutting above that, that's going to give you the most area down here to root this out and get it started. So I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to look for probably about something like this. It's going to give you a few buds on there and you want to cut flat here, right above these buds. And that's going to give you one cutting. I really hit myself in the face there. So that's gonna give us one cutting here. And this cutting down here at the bottom, we're gonna do like we did with our fig. We're gonna cut that at a 45 degree angle. And that's gonna give us a good surface area for water uptake and to take up our rooting hormone. So I've got one here. We're gonna do one more, one or two more out of this. Something like this. So we got two cuttings and we'll say we're gonna get probably one more cutting out of this. Maybe two. Yeah, looks like we're gonna get, looks like we're gonna get a few cuttings here. All right, so out of that cane, we got four pomegranate cuttings. I don't know what variety this is, but it makes fruits, makes pretty flowers, and we're gonna get these rooted up now, and we're gonna go to the greenhouse. Before I get into showing you how to pot up your cuttings, let me show you the third fruit variety I wanna talk about that you can easily start from cuttings. These are elderberry cuttings. I got these back at the Mother Earth News Fair from Terry Durham from River Hills Harvest. He has a lot of different elderberry varieties available on his website that you can get cuttings from. I'll leave a link to his website down below. But I have here four different varieties from River Hills Harvest. We've got the Bob Gordon here. We've got Ozark, which is a newer variety that Terry told me about. We've got ranch and we have a European variety of elderberry called Marge. And the difference between these are, these are all American elderberries and this one here is a European elderberry. And the difference between those is this is just a different species. The American elderberry is Sambucus canadensis and the European variety is Sambucus nigra. There's a little bit different management to do with those, but we're gonna get those all planted here soon out at the new place and we'll see how they do compared to each other. So now I'm gonna show you how to get all your cuttings potted up and everything to get them started in the rooting process. All right guys, we're out here in the greenhouse. We're in the mist bench section, which y'all haven't seen before. This is where we get all of our cuttings started. We've got this bench here and if you can see, we've got these nozzles here that will spray water on a periodic basis, keep everything nice and moist and humid. But what we need to do is we need to get these cuttings that we took out with our pomegranates and our figs and get them potted up. I've got some perlite here that I've got pre-soaked and you wanna get it nice and moist. And I've got a little bit of rooting hormone here which will stimulate these roots to grow. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take our cuttings. We wanna make sure we got the bottom portion down here, not the top. The way I do that is I'll cut the bottoms at an angle, like we mentioned earlier. I'll cut the tops flat, so that way I know which way is top and which way is bottom. So we just take our cuttings here, roll it in a little bit of rooting hormone, just like this. We're gonna put it down in this perlite. And I'm just gonna keep doing that with the rest of these, and I'll get right back with you in just a minute. Okay, I have my fig cuttings here now. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna roll these tips and a little bit of this rooting hormone, get a good little coat on there, just like that. And I'm gonna put these in here with some of the other fig cuttings we have. And we started these a little earlier. I'm just going to put these down. I'm actually gonna put it over here in this one because we don't wanna mix up our two different fig varieties. 
this is Celeste here. I'm just going to put them down in here with these. And hopefully they do well. They should. These are already doing good over here. So now that we've got all of our cuttings all potted up, let me show you what we're trying to get with these. I'm going to use the elderberries here because I planted these a while back and they're more established. So check out what we have here. Pull this out here, tap it off a little bit. See these roots coming out of here? That's what we're trying to get on our cuttings. We're trying to get these roots to form so that way we can now take these and pot these up with a little bit of potting soil in their own pots, get them a little bit established and we can go plant them outside when the time is right. So that's all you're looking for. You're just gonna check these periodically, see if you got your roots on there and once they get some good roots for them, you can just go pot them up and get them all established and then you can go plant them out wherever you desire. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and comment if you have any more questions. Be sure to go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.